So, is this the live stream over here? This looks like the live stream over <laughs> here. So, uh, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Corey, uh, creator of Armadillo's Tire Sealant. And uh, today we're going to do something pretty fun. So, over the years we've done this, uh, we've taken, well, a couple of opportunities to do this exact thing, but we've never really live streamed it. We've, uh, we did a video with Chris Richardson uh, back when we were doing our initial beta testing. And so what we did there was we actually did a side-by-side. -side. Uh, we put a brand new Vega on a one-wheel XR. And then we did an unboxing of a brand new factory board and did a side-by-side -side with them there. So today we're going to kind of do the same idea, um, except for we're just going to use one board and we're going to do the same thing through it through the entire video. That way we're using the same tire, have the same data points and all of that. So, uh, well, without further ado, uh, let's get started on the unboxing of the one-wheel XR. So. Uh, we're going to take off the outside covering here because uh, these things do ship in a uh, cardboard box that's outside of the interior cardboard box. I suppose I should do this like a regular unboxing where I, you know, pretend like I'm really excited to do this, but truth of it is, I've unboxed a lot of these. So um, we're going to go ahead and. Smells like $2,000. Smells like two grand. It's the best two grand I've ever smelled, though. Delicious. So we're going to set these down here. And whoa, one wheel. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this box here. And. Ooh. <laughs> Camera magic. <laughs> um, all right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull these guys out here. And. That sweet, sweet smell of a brand new one wheel. So, all right. I guess uh, if this is a regular unboxing, I'd spend five minutes reading this at you. Nope, not doing that. So, all right. Check it out, guys. Here we go. Smells like fresh rubber. Woo, check that out. Brand new Vega, brand new board. So, well, one of the things when we get a brand new board out of the box, uh, really the first thing we should do is we should put some protection on it. Um, okay, so guys, uh, right now we are about to condense uh, a couple of minutes of footage together probably for the final edit, um, but we're going to do this a little bit longer here for the live stream. Uh, so I'm just going to talk you guys through this real quickly. What we're going to do is we're going to take a high quality fluid filled gauge. Um, now this is only 60 PSI, okay, so it's important to note that any change in pressure is going to register as a pretty large movement on this gauge. Um, again, it's high quality fluid filled gauge. so. It's not going to stick, it's not going to misreport pressure, it's not going to do anything like that. So we can count on this to be a pretty good uh, representation of how much pressure we actually have in this tire. So let's see what FM did from the factory here. How much pressure does that guy have in it from the factory? Cool. Looks like we're right at 16. 16 PSI from the factory. Well, I mean, I guess we'll go ahead and puncture it. We probably should put some more air in there, but... Um, what the heck, let's just go ahead and puncture it. So, right, where um, are you going to hit it at? I guess let's go ahead and put this thing like this, okay? Uh, and that way we can see the gauge here and we can see it drop as we do this. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a fantastic little puncture tool, again, 16 penny nail. And we're going to pop it on in. There we go. Work it in, work it in. And, excellent. We are buried all the way in there. So, excellent. Uh, all right, so we can hear that it's leaking, uh, and I'm going to pop this out real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this out, and as I pop it out, I'm going to spin the tire upside down so the sealant can actually get to the leak, uh, and you're going to be able to see it actually seal. So you see the green there? I'm going to pop it down to the bottom. Uh-oh. Probably shouldn't do that with that, should we? No, we'll flip it upside down. Flip it upside down here. Mm -hmm. All right, now. The hole's right on this side. Is that where it is? Yep. All right. So there we go. Now, is that still leaking? Oh yeah, I hear it. I can actually, yeah. We're it's at here. slowly dropping. Yeah, you can actually just hear this thing leaking. So again, I mean, it's ridiculous as it is. We, I mean, we're gonna try to do what we can here, um, but I'm gonna go grab a little bit of soapy water. Uh, just give it a second. We'll watch that gauge drop. Probably could just use beer for this. 
Yeah, we're down to 13 now. Sad. All right, so got us a little soapy water here. Nothing crazy, but again, as we see this, I mean, just you can just see it blowing up these bubbles. And oh, let me go live on my phone to help out. Yeah, go ahead and get live on the phone. As a matter of fact, I'm going to set this upright again. So I'm going to set this upright. We're down to 12 psi here, so we are going to have to add air. But again, we're just going to look at them bubbles grow. So, I mean, I think that it's pretty obvious here that this is, you know, more than the stock sealant can handle. I mean, again, this is, you know, it's a 16 penny nail, okay? So this is not, to be fair, the stock sealant can probably handle a staple or something small like that occasionally. That also fails there occasionally as well, but uh, real quickly, let's just kill that bubble and we're gonna make a few more here. Clearly still leaking, okay? Um, now we're gonna go ahead and pressure this tire up just to, you know, uh, get a little higher pressure in here. Um, actually, you know what? Do you want to put it on and run it on the floor real quick to get the slime spinning? Sure, let's do that. Sure, let's do that. Just in case, maybe that's going to make a difference. Let's ride around the office a little bit. I got you on the phone, Cam. We're good. Okay, well, I'm going to do something nice and safe here, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Woo! Listen to that. A little I mean, different than the 40 PSI you used to. Yeah, it's definitely a little different. Bits of slime on the floor. I can actually see the green dot right there. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough nice for it. All right. So, no, oh, let's see what we got here. Hmm. Well, it was fun. Okay, let's do this again. Now, look at all that dog hair. <laughs> Good news. I actually have a uh, solution for dog hair here. We have a couple of office dogs. We love them well, but they are a hairy critters. So they're definitely going to need to get rid of all this dog hair on here. Don't worry, the dog hair will not affect the ceiling test. All right, so set this to the side here. And let's find that hole, shall we? Oh, right there it is. Now look deep in that hole. You're gonna see that there is green stuff coming out of it there. And again, we're gonna, let's just see if that, I guess it didn't seal it. Nope, definitely did not seal it. Let's see how big that thing gets before it pumps, let's see how big the uh, bubble will get. Anybody got any bets? Think gonna get 50 cent size or? <laughs> when will it pop? We're going for a silver dollar. <laughs> I think we might exceed a silver dollar. That thing's getting huge. Pretty too, look at all those swirling colors. I don't think that's enough uh, to get back to your car if this happens on no. the road. <laughs> I, and in fact, it's just gonna keep leaking. The more you ride it, the more it's gonna leak. So, um, and this was a midline of the tire puncture. Um, I mean, this is right in the center of the tread. Guys, it doesn't get any easier than this. Um, you know, if it's not gonna fix this, there's just, I mean, there's not a lot to be said about what it is it's gonna do for you. So, um, let's just say it's not much. So, I guess, let's just uh let's fix it so we're gonna take we're gonna remove the valve core here i guess i'll spin this guy around here so we can see this I'm gonna go back to the main shot. and so what i'm doing here is i am now pulling this valve core out i'll wait for jamie here a little bit so i can get the main as i do this and is that live and running still yeah okay, good so i'm pulling the valve core out and we go ahead and take this little guy here and we're going to set it right there along with our tool. Now, we're going to take a full bottle of Armour Dillo's uh, tire sealant here. Now, this is the red. Um, we make several different grades. Um, the red is really our strongest product. Uh, it's unfortunately not good for anything over 30 miles per hour. Um, it's quite thick. In fact, uh, as I talk to you about it here, I'm going to just go ahead and kind of, you know, describe to you why it's different than slime. Um, number one, if this was slime, this brand new one wheel would be, well, not brand new anymore. Um, so, you know, I, I can sit here and I can do this for, well, quite a while. I've never actually found the total amount of time, but it simply, it doesn't run. Uh, in fact, it's so thick that I can even squeeze it out a little bit. Come on, you know, cute one, uh, check that out, we're going to bring it out, and then look at that, back in. 
It's like you're like a brother torturing a young there girl, you go. right? So, uh, didn't you have a sibling who tortured you like this? Woo! It's prairie dogging. So, prairie dogging. <laughs> Um, so, you know, I mean, when we say that this is a thick, tough sealant, we mean it. Now, with that being said, uh, one of the things that I think it's important to also describe, and I'm going to use a card here uh, to actually show you this. So, uh, this tire sealant isn't just about, uh, you know, being thick. Um, thick is good, but thick is only good if you can get the product to where it needs to go. So, if this didn't, you know, flow inside the tire, unfortunately, uh, it would just, you know, stick inside of it and you would need a lot of product to be able to get enough to a puncture to actually make it work. Well, that's what slime does in fact. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but slime really sticks to the inside of the tire. So we're going to do something here and I'm just going to put a little bit of it right here on the top of this card. And now you'll notice that instead of this thing being a coherent mess, look at this. Look how it does that. Notice how it just creates a nice little trail of lubricated area behind it and it just slides around freely. Now, why is that important? Well, what that means is instead of this trying to coat your tire uh, it's leaving just simply a very light coating inside the tire uh, and moving freely in there. Now, that means a couple of things. Number one, it means getting it out of balance is pretty darn hard to do because it doesn't stick inside of it. Uh, and secondarily, what that really means is that maximum product is available to the tire at any point where it's punctured. So there's, a, there's basically this material moving freely inside of the tire so a large amount of it can get to any area where it needs to be sealed. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that card there now and I'm going to put this top back on now. Important point here, and we've had a couple of customers get this wrong, and we always feel bad when it happens. Um, this line on the cap here is meant to actually hold on uh, the cover. So whenever you're cutting this, uh, you want to be careful to do it about halfway to that first line. So um, if you want to come in close here real quickly, just so we can see, we're going to cut this at about right there, and make sure you use a really nice sharp knife. Um, this product is basically made to stick to any imperfections in anything that you're doing. So, and in fact, even if you have it to where you got a little bit of a nick on it like that, it's always good to go ahead and get rid of that nick before you install it. That way you can be sure it's not going to catch up on uh, the tip and it's not going to cause any problems. So, uh, I'll just take that out of the way. Now, the way we install this, um, for scooter users, since you have such a small tire, it's kind of critical to put the valve stem up at the top so the product can flow away and get air back into the bottle as you do this. Uh, on one wheels and golf carts and other tires that are a bit larger, um, even bicycle tires, uh, you can get away with being a little bit more careless. But really the idea here is we want to go ahead and stick this inside of the valve core here. And uh, we're going to basically do this in squeezes. So we don't try to get it all in at once. We're just going to give it a good squeeze and then we're going to let it breathe. So we let it breathe, give it a little shake. Squeeze it in again. Let it breathe. Give it a little shake. Do it again. And we're going to do this repeatedly until we get all of the product inside of the tire. Now, I say that on a stock tire, you can use about a half a bottle. That's true. You can also use a whole bottle. Um, frankly, I think that if you don't, you know, if you're worried about having too much seal in the tire, it's rarely a problem. Um, typically, you're going to have to get up to about 16 ounces of sealant before you feel any real effects from it. But if you're nervous about that and want to be cautious, you can just put a half bottle in. Um, I'm going to put in a whole bottle today uh, for obvious reasons because we're testing this thing to the max. Uh, now, real quickly, I want to point out also, this bottle shape is not our normal bottle shape. Uh, this is unfortunately an effect of the whole current pandemic. Um, eight ounce bottles are great for hand sealing, so uh, the shape we prefer is not available right now. Uh, they're more of a rounded bullet style. Um, but with that being said, they'll be back soon, very soon. Uh, these are a little bit harder to clear out, so you'll see I'm actually taking it and I'm going to go ahead and do like this right here to get that coming down to the top. And of course I blow off the cap as I do it, but that's okay. And I'm going to take this, just wipe that off. Always nice to have a rag available as you're doing this. All right. Let's see where I put that, put that cap right down. There, on the there we go. Oh. So again, I'm trying to get all of this product into the tire. And generally with our other bottle style, this is just not quite as difficult. But with this bottle style, it takes a couple taps to get everything out of the bottom. Okay. So that feels pretty good. Um, maybe there's a little bit left in the bottle here we'll try for. But I'll tell you what, I really do not like these new bottles. So guys... Uh, if you've struggled with this, just know that very, very soon we'll have our old bottle style back. 
they're on order now and say they're delivering within the next week or so. So um, we'll be moving back to our old style bottles as soon as we possibly can. Uh, so we're going to start back into the tire. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and install this guy here. And really, that was about the world's slowest armadillos install. Uh, but with that being said, we talked through it. Now you know why we're doing what we're doing. Get this in pretty tight. You don't have to get it in so tight that you're, you know, turning the uh, core. Of course, it will turn if you actually, if you over tighten it, the whole thing will just turn. Um, so no worries there. But you don't have to get it in too tight. So I'm going to put this back on it because I don't think we're going to, oh, well, actually I won't put that back on it. Should probably put some air in it first. New pump here. See if I can figure out how to run this guy. So i take and lock this baby on there. And we're going to bring this tire up to, you know, we're actually going to bring it pretty high today. Um, that way we can see the air leak out. We're going to be kind of aggressive with this. Um, we're going to bring it up to 45 PSI. So, we're doing 45 PSI. Danny, if you want to put in on the key shot there. We're going to be able, we're only at nine. Yeah, we're going to be able. Now, interestingly enough, I think we'll probably find that if I test this over here, it's probably still going to be leaking. Yeah. Well, we haven't spun the tire for it to get in there yet. And yet, ironically, I think it actually may have already sealed. I think just putting the Dillo in there, it is already wow. sealed. No, not quite. It hasn't quite sealed. Okay, good. What are we doing there? 18 PSI. Nope. So in order to not fight this, we are going to go ahead and take, and we're going to bring this upside down there, get some Dillo to it, and I know that'll seal it now. So, all right. Yep, that's sealed now. So uh, we're only at 26 PSI, but that leak has now stopped. So. Thirty-seven PSI. All right, for you live streamers here, while Jamie films that, I'm gonna sit here and drink beer for your enjoyment. All right. So. We have now reached the cutoff pressure here of 45 PSI. Gonna remove that. Now, let's go over here. And we'll set this back down over here. All right, good deal. So, now we have a deload tire. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back on. I don't think I'm gonna need to put a air in this tire for a while. Well, maybe we will. Maybe we'll do something stupid to it. But for right now, I think it's gonna be just fine. So, if you look here, uh, that is the puncture. You can still see some of the green stuff coming out there. Now, since we did mix the green and the red, uh, we're probably going to see a little bit of a color uh, oddity here. But as you can see, that is sealed. Okay, so uh, we can be pretty confident that that is, in fact, you know, holding. Now, so how does Dillo's work? Uh, well, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and let it get that coating around the tire. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and slowly rotate this guy. Now you don't need to do this after install. Um, typically after install, if you just go for a ride, you're gonna be pretty good to go. Um, but in my case, since I'm gonna be doing some silly stuff to this tire here, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Now, I'm gonna stick in the same area here. Um, with that being said, let's see here. Yeah, I guess we'll stick in the same area. It works pretty well. Um, let's go ahead and just put in another puncture here. And you know, these tires are Pretty resilient. A lot of work to actually get one of these tools into it. So, uh, if you think punctures are easy to do, they're just not. I'm here to tell you. Hear that leak? So, and even with it facing up, okay. So this is this is truly a worst case scenario. 
Um, we had the tire facing upward. Uh, so there was no ability for extra sealant to get to this hole. This is just literally what was stuck to the slime that was stuck to the inside there, but um, you know, still it slowed the leak significantly. Let's give this tire one quick rotation, okay? So all we're gonna do is, actually I'm gonna wipe that off there real quickly. Now remember this is the one off center line, okay? So we have one on center line, one off center line. We're just gonna go for one quick rotation here. Nothing very quick, nothing very slow, just a little rotation there. And let's test it. Huh, look at that. Wow. No leak, okay, so yeah, well, we could uh, probably do this all day long. In fact, let's just, uh, right here in this area, let's just get a couple more of these guys in there. All right, let's do it like this. upside down oh stopped okay so yeah and look at it. it looks like Christmas it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas so we got one there's a little stubborn we're gonna give it one more rotation just one more rotation here and just like that it truly is Christmas your presents have arrived okay so well yeah okay that's fine for those of you that don't hear it, it's crazy. As the wheel spins, it goes dead silent from ear leaking. Yeah. Or hair leaking out. That is incredible. It is pretty cool. You, you can actually just hear it like it. You know it worked like and then instantly. Done. Stopped. So, uh, again, right here we can see that we've got a lot of holes there. Now, sometimes it takes a few rotations and a minute or two for stuff to seal, but these are pretty small. So, my expectation is everything's going to be sealed right here. But let's just make sure. Looks sealed to me. Now, okay, I know a lot of you are saying they're going, okay, yeah, so it's sealed for five seconds. Eh, whatever, you know, yeah, we don't really believe you yet. Cool, we're gonna get there. So stick with us here. Uh, so as you see, we've got a timer here. And this timer, we're going to do a time down test on this. And we're gonna show that it doesn't leak by actually using the pressure gauge. Um, however, with that being said, hmm, I feel like we need to do something a little bit more extreme here. Um, now, we've been using this tool, and as we saw, this tool here is, although not a significantly large tool, more than enough to make the stock sealant, or really, most sealants you're going to find out there fail. Uh, there are a couple exceptions that we found during our testing of commercial products, but I'll tell you what, this will make all of them fail. Um, <laughs> so let's just move on to uh, what we think of as being a moderate-sized puncture. Um, this is exceeding the rating of all commercial products you're going to find out there, especially uh, whenever you're talking about a thin tire like this. Um, some of the commercial products may deal with the hole this big in a car tire. Uh, they're certainly not going to deal with a hole this big in a one-wheel tire. Now, I've got some fairly large hands here. So for those of you who are just tuning in, uh, or those of you who may be watching us later... Well, let me uh, set this up. Standing, sure. I'm going to go cell phone so everyone can see yeah, this. Yeah, great. Let's do this. Live. So we're gonna, what we're going to do here... Uh, I'm gonna wipe some slime off that four foot pad back here I got on it, making this poor brand new one wheel ugly already. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually stick this into the tire. Uh, so now this is a this is a really big tool, so we're gonna have to fight this thing. Um, in fact, I may actually have to take it off this table to even get it in here. Um, they're quite difficult to get in, but we're gonna go ahead and try. And by the way, we have uh, how many holes we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that a tenth one? I think it's just nine. I think we have nine holes in this tire right now. Um, so that's pretty good. You know, we've got quite a few tire holes. It's still holding a lot of air. It's, I'm guessing it's probably not lost more than about a PSI, even through our shenanigans there with it pointed up and all of that. So, um, doing pretty good. Now, while Jamie does that, uh, I think just spot up. Yep. Just spot up. So. I was just waiting for you to grab a beer. Mm. Got to drink beer, man. Got to drink beer. Got to grab mine too. Mm. Okay, so now again for those of you who are just joining us, Jesus, uh, we have stuck this into the tire, and this actually made the stock sealant fail. Um, and I, like I said, I got some pretty big hands, so let's compare this to you know something you're going to recognize. Um, you know, this is a, it's a decent size, about a, about the size of the thickness of the foot pad. You know, if you look right there, you can see it's just about the thickness of the foot pad, eh, maybe little little over half. Three quarters, something like that. Pretty thick stuff, though. Um, this one, well, it's a lot thicker than the foot pad, so 
Uh, and it's of course it's about the size of one of the heads of the screw here so we almost almost will cover the entire head of a screw yeah, i'm going to show my these puncture marks up close now so yeah, well, they can really know <laughs> what yeah, we, went into this we definitely put some holes in this guy wow. you know? and so uh with that being said let's put some more holes in it um jamie you want to grab the key shot as well here while we do this can you do a dual key and this up close or is that going to be fine over there no that yeah no that's okay. good framed okay. up on you and i'm going to be so I'm gonna to try to do this uh, kind of a violent way here. Don't know if this is gonna work or not. It might bounce right off, but we're gonna go ahead and just try to uh, stab this stab this right on in. So y'all ready for this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this just a little bit to the side. Actually, let's move it to this side, just a little bit further on this side. And I'm gonna put an X over here just so we can see where I'm doing it. Have a nice mark. Okay, ready? All right, so as predicted, it bounced halfway back out. Jesus is hard stuff to do. We're gonna take it down to the ground here. So let's go down to the ground. Now let me see if I gotta reframe everywhere. May need to reframe some stuff. Yeah, hold on. We do have a hole in the tire for what it's worth. It's just not enough yeah. of a hole. Yeah, hold on. Don't go yet. I gotta get the live stream back up for you. And I did find one over here too. We actually did have a tenth hole. So we did have a tenth hole. Alright, that should be good down there. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Uh, one second. I gotta reframe every camera. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's all good. Really hard to get this to work. All right, go all for right, it. All right, go for it. Oh, wow. So, now we're gonna go ahead and put the one wheel back up here. <laughs> all right, now, I think we're just gonna flip this upside down. Uh, that way, when we pull this out, we're, uh, going to see the results of tire sealant getting to it immediately. Now this, this is actually representative and I'm going to hold it up kind of like this so you can get a better view. This being down at the bottom is kind of representative of what you'll get uh, when you get a puncture out in the real world because it's going to be facing down. Um, you don't tend to get holes in the top of your tire, you tend to get them in the bottom. So uh, anyways, when we get a hole this size, so um, there we go. Um, if you'll notice, that's uh, that's not leaking, guys. So, let me give that just a quick little spin around here. Wow. So, let's go ahead and clean this table up. Oopsie, I think I took a little dent out of the top of that guy. Well, all right, so. Let's hey, Corey, see one second. Yep. Hold this and keep on keep that on frame so they know we're not cutting. I've got to swap batteries on the other Oh, table. great. See? So, that, this is still live, so they know we're not cutting cool. it right now. Cool. Well, we're going to keep this you on. You can talk to it as much as you want to. Everybody, uh, we're going to basically just take a quick hiatus here, so uh, Jamie can battery. swap a battery. And, uh, whew, here, watch Jamie swap a battery. Watch how fast he is. By the way, you'll notice, uh, here, we're going to spin this around. Yeah. I'm going to hold this like this and spin it around. There we go. So, here, get in really nice and close. That was that big hole. I uh, got some little holes over here, too. So. Lots of little holes, lots of big holes now. And the fun thing about this is, is as we do this, uh, what we're gonna see Cool. Yeah, is, we're, back we're good? Okay. Yep. So what we're gonna see is sometimes these holes will start, you know, they'll have a little bubble here or something like this. Now this is not to be unexpected, okay? It's not really a leak. What that really is, is just more of the material moving through, more fibers packing in. Um, so you'll see a little bubble come up sometimes at first, even sometimes for the first few days after a fairly major puncture you're still going to see a little bubbling and a little bit of stuff like that happening. Now, don't worry. It doesn't mean it's not working. In fact, quite the opposite. It means that those fibers are packing in there and they are working. So, all right, so we're going to go check all those old holes there just to make sure none of them opened up. Okay, well, looks like all the old holes are still pretty okay. Jamie, if I can get you to come in close with that yeah. cell phone shot. I'm trying to frame this up so I can get the other camera on it too. Oh, fine. Oh, that's good. Cool. All right. Nice assist with the stand there. Beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Let me show you what, because you haven't even seen what it's looking like. So that's what's going oh, on live great. right now. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Let me oh, that's cool. out of my shot. That is really cool. Yes, yeah, so that's what the whole world's Woo! seeing. Right now. It's pretty badass, right. right? Hey, by the way, anybody, just say hi to Bodie. Anybody, you all want, want to tag him? Does everybody go tag Bodie right now, just to annoy him? Not for any other reason. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, 
really quickly here. Uh, now again, we're gonna just look at the tool we used here. And, and by the way, we're just, just come look, you'll see that uh, our bubble test here is, it's not bubbling guys. Um, so we just put this on there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this here at the top, um, which is of course the bigger challenge. And we're actually gonna put on our timer because this is pretty ridiculous, okay guys? Um, we feel like if it's gonna stop this, this is the biggest thing you're going to get faced with in the real world. As you saw, what it took me to put that in there, this is not easy to do. Okay, so even just that, well, small in the scheme of things. Ten drop onto like a rusted railroad spike. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Don, uh, just saying. Um, if you're looking for a challenge, buddy, we're going to call that the uh, railroad spike challenge. Who's in? Um, Armadillo's free to anybody who does that. Uh, no, never mind. That's risky. You'll sue me. Um, <laughs> Uh, all right, so guys, we're just going to put all these holes right here at the top, okay? Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach that gauge again. Um, so I'm pulling off the cap here and I'm attaching the gauge. Now, we did some pretty good shenanigans there. Uh, this thing started out at 45 PSI, as everybody saw. Now, I've not calibrated these two gauges together, but I'm guessing they're probably pretty close and true, both of them. What are we sitting at now? Hmm, I hear a leak out of the... Oh, here. Yeah. Hmm. You're still above 40, though. <laughs> yeah, but. I may not be able to leave this thing on there, though, because it's leaking. It's leaking right around here. All right, well, we're still 40, so hold on a second here. I'm going to have to pull this guy off because we're actually leaking fun. around this guy. So that's, that's not good. I'm going to see if I can get this on there a bit tighter here. Um, but we're going to let this sit for just a minute. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go see if I can find a way to get this tighter and make it not leak. So, let's see if this thing's still leaking, shall we? I do not know if we can actually get this thing to do the time test or not. So we may, again, I think I'm going to call my girlfriend and have her come and try to uh, give us a hand. Yeah, it's still. Dillo no gasket no. doesn't work, so okay. Dillo is not good for gaskets. Um, but let, let me just see, or let me get on camera where that thing was. Or yeah, we can check it with we'll this gauge. We'll just put this gauge on it. Okay, so again, we're just going to turn this on. Uh, let's read the 36.5. Okay. So and this thing. Let's start the timer. Let's bring the timer yeah. in the frame. Let's bring the timer in the frame. And in fact, um, let's bring this guy up to 45 psi, just so we uh, let's bring it all yep. the way up. To the land well setting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that way we've got maximum pressure against it. Um, two reasons why we want to do that. One, it will seat the plugs better, so higher pressure does seat plugs well. But beyond that, um, it's going to put more pressure behind it. So if they're going to fail, this will make them fail. So if they'll have a blowout, this is where we'll get the blowout. All right. Timer one. And start it. I don't know how to run this thing. All right, start. There we go. Timer is running. So, uh, live stream people here. What we're gonna do? So, just so everyone knows, we set it to 44. 44 psi. Yep. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go up one more. Hold on. 45 psi. I like 45. 44, 44.5, and 45 psi. So, we're gonna let this guy sit here, and. Uh, I suppose you'll see if anything happens. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go make a quick support phone call and see if we can get uh, a gasket in here to help out with this. Cool, I'm switching off the phone. Move this tripod. Hey, you watching? So, just bring me one of the little tools we use for the pumps. Yeah, the one that we actually have to put on the wraps yet, so the ones around the counters, I actually bring Sean. Okay. Bring a couple of those, that means a two would be great. Yep, just 
Okay, awesome people. So, we've hit 10 minutes here, and uh, as you can see, we're, you know, clearly doing fine here. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop that. I don't know, reset it or something. I have no idea. Here we go, clear. There we go. So, I'm going to set this over here now. And as you can see, we're still at the full PSI. This hasn't kicked back on, so we're well, doing pretty good. Retesting it, and it went to 44.5. 44.5. Okay. So that well, could be you, whenever you turn it, wherever you put it on and off, it goes down every time. You're leaking yeah. air as you put it on and off, mm -hmm. so uh, it does not surprise me. Now, matter of fact, we'll bring it back up to 45. Because again, every time we do that, what are we at now? 40. So yeah, we lost. Just taking this on and off, we lost five psi. Um, so that's. <laughs> chance that we'll get a little bit of a bubble here. Don't think so, but let's find out. Look at that. Zero bubbling, guys. So, just seeing. Nothing leaking there. Okay, so, uh, and this is pretty much what you're going to see. Uh, even overnight, you're not going to get any major leaking, um, anything like that. So, now, you can see some fibers here sticking out, and that's what you want to see. These little tiny tail fibers there. Those are indicating that it is working. Now. All right. So, uh, let's take a close look at the top of the tire. We can see we've done some pretty good damage here. Now, the thing is, is, well, we could go for a ride. I think, you know, I think all of you recognize that that's not necessary. This thing's going to hold pressure pretty easily, no matter what, at this point. So, um, as you guys saw, this is, you know, pretty good size little tool, but let's, uh, let's go up to the next size tool. This is, uh, significantly larger. Um, this is, you know, for, for comparison to the bottle cap, uh, this is basically the equivalent of inserting this by just going ahead and sticking the entire bottle cap into your tire. One second, okay. Just resetting cameras. No problem. We got time here. We are not in a hurry, guys. We got all afternoon, so. You know, and again, just to just to make this clear, this thing actually is the size, basically, of. Uh, this thing is the size of the bottle cap, so pretty significant little puncture here we're about to put in here. Uh, let me see that up close. So again, and we're going to compare this to the bottle cap for size. Uh, this is huge. You know, this is a really massive puncture that we're about to put in this tire. Um, so again, uh, let's find a new hole here, and we're going to, I don't know, you guys want to do one near the big one over here, or should we go to the other side? Where should we, where should we go? Let's go to the other side. Okay. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to try to do this while we keep this on the table. I don't know if I can do this. I might collapse the table. We're going to see though. So, get a little bit of a turn here as I do it. Way this is difficult. Gotta stretch a lot of rubber out of the way. So. Wow, that is just so difficult to do. I'm going to put this on the floor. Uh, so if we'll take the live stream, we're going to it is just almost. Do you want to do it closer to the, the front? Yeah, sure. Easier. Yeah. Absolutely. One second. We reframed re re here? Yep, we're good. <clears throat> Woo! You might need me to jump on your back. <laughs> Tell you what, I might need it. 
Well, we're getting it in there. This takes a lot of work and wiggling it and we'll get it in there. All right. Victory. Now this is a convenient way to carry your one wheel. Uh, you know, obviously gonna work great for that. So, whew. Well, so, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this out this direction this time and we're gonna do this a little differently. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and allow the air to escape. Uh, you're gonna hear how quickly this is deflating. Uh, obviously that way you know that I'm not cheating here and somehow have a collapsible tool that's hiding itself as I put it in the tire. Whew, that was a workout. So, uh, well, without further ado, is everybody ready? You guys all have your friends here? Going to get a good better frame for this for the stream. Yes. There we go. All right, guys. Ready? It's going to lose a lot of air really fast. I'm going to have to tip it upside down quick. Let's try not to shoot uh, <laughs> Dillo's camera. You all ready? Oh, hold on one second. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Hey, we have uh, seals now. Okay, so, y'all ready? <laughs> Done. Just like that, it's sealed. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna leave that at the top there. So, you can see it bubbling a little bit. Sometimes it takes a little time to set in. And put it upside down. Now, still bubbling. Why is that? Well, one well, of the keys here, we need extra pressure to seat some of these larger ones. So, we're going to go ahead. How much should we lose there? Let's find out here. We have lost 33.5 PSI. So we haven't lost that much, we've lost quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and touch this guy up. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, check it out. 44.5 PSI again now. It's, ah, you know what? I only set it to 44.5. That was the problem. <laughs> now it's at 45. So, again, we're going to pop this off. Now. Okay. So um, slide on in here, Jamie, if you would, and take a quick look. Obviously, we've lost some sealant. Um, now, I want you guys to really kind of think about the amount and volume of sealant we've lost here. It's not much, okay? Um, and if you're wondering, hey, did that slime really make a difference? <laughs> I invite you to look at the color of this. There wasn't much green slime in that to begin with. Um, so, uh, well, it looks pretty good to me. So uh, let's go ahead and gonna clean up our mess here, first on the tire. Look at that hole, would you? That's just a straight wound. I clean up this tabletop here that I've sprayed stuff all over. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do? Let's test this with a little bit of soap and water. I think that's an important test. It tends to show pretty well whether or not something is actually sealed. And again, I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bubbling, but nope, not even the tiniest bit here. Okay, so that's fully sealed, guys. Um, yeah, uh, it's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? So, uh, I guess we could do another leak down test. I don't know, I just don't have the patience for that, though. So, huh? huh? All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a beer break. We're going to scroll, we're going to zoom in on this guy real quick. And, uh, yeah, yeah I'll what we're going to do with my phone, too, in a second. Okay. So, and you guys can actually see, if you look real carefully, there's just a few little tiny bubbles here forming. Um, just a few little tiny bubbles. Now, those will stop as, you know, you might get a little bit of leakage and just see a little seepage as you move forward. With time, uh, this will stop. But again, this is a giant hole in the tire. I mean, this is a freaking giant hole in the tire. Um, so now, real quickly again, this was the one we just used. This is ludicrously large, but that's just, I mean, here. Okay. Um, 
I mean, this thing's damn near the size of the axle. <laughs> it's just huge. Uh, literally, it's as large as the text one wheel. It'll cover the entire word one wheel here. Um, this is big. This is very big. This is a half inch. So um, this is what we rate our sealant for at a max. Now, uh, I'll promise you no other sealant out there that you're going to get is going to do this. Um, you know, in fact, uh, I would say that, you know, in certain tires, our sealant may not even do this. But of course, uh, you know, with a fresh stock Vega, this isn't, you know, I, I believe we're going to be just fine. So, uh, you know, guys, real quickly, go grab your friends. Uh, make sure to tag some folks. Let's get this live view up to uh, a few extra folks in here. Because uh, we're, we're really reaching that kind of payoff here where we're going to do a half inch hole. Now, I'm going to tell you a little secret here. Um, <laughs> in fact, the half inch hole is not where we're stopping today. Um, it's really actually my hope uh, that, in fact, Jamie, can we get the yeah, live camera yeah, spun up here? Good. Come on in here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit about what we really like to do today. So it's my hope uh, that we can actually kill this tire on video. Um, it's very hard to do, and as you guys have seen, it takes an incredible amount of effort to just get something this size of the tire. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do it. Uh, we may need to, you know, I really don't know. Maybe it's gonna take me and Jamie both pushing on this. Maybe we're gonna have to go drive a car over to get it in. I don't really know, but this is a half inch. And you know, today I thought. Why should we stop at a half inch? I know it's going to fit. I, I just, I know this is going to work. So I don't know how much of this we can get in the tire, but this is three quarters of an inch. Um, we're going to try to make this fail. Um, I'm kind of hoping that for everybody's entertainment and all of your, you know, being here today, that we're going to be able to make this fail. But before we do this, we're going to do this. And after we do this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a little leak down pressurized test. After we do that leak down pressurized test, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to go for a little ride. So me and Jamie are going to take off and we're going to go for a little cruise around Miami. Uh, and now what that's going to prove is that this seal uh, is in fact a seal that you can count on. It's not just something that's, uh, you know, cool here on video, but in fact, you know, this is something you can actually count on. Now, that was too much work. I'm not going to lie. Um, I would like to just go ahead and, you know, keep putting new holes in it. Uh, I'm probably going to be lazy here, guys. Uh, I hope nobody really objects, but I'm just going to go back into that same hole. Um, just because it's significantly easier once I've gotten some of that material moved out of the way. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to leave it up here on top, is I'm going to go ahead and take this half inch. I'm going to lose this three quarter inch for right now, but we're going to set this up here. By the way, just, just so we know, this is where stock slime failed, okay? This is where stock slime failed. We just stuck this tool into the tire. So that's the difference right now. You've seen it work. You know that it'll do this larger one significantly more than a 16 penny nail. However, here's where we're going right now, okay? That's a lot of difference. That's a whole lot of difference. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick this 50 caliber sized puncture tool into this tire. Um, and we're going to see what happens. So again, guys, let's, uh, let's go. Woo. Woo. That's a lot of work, guys. That tear me out. I'll tell you what, my arm is actually hurting from having to press so hard to get that thing into the tire. I'm not even joking. I know that sounds dramatic, but I'm not joking. Okay, so this time we're going to do it a little differently again. I'm going to flip it upside down. Uh, you saw that it'll let all the air rush out. That's, that's no real surprise that it'll let air leak out. Um, but before I do that, I'm actually going to leave this in here. And we're going to disassemble this guy right here. I'm going to grab one of these that has an actual rubber seal in it. This one has a rubber seal on it. That should help it uh, actually hold the air in where it's supposed to be. Screw this together here. And yes, I know I should be using a wrench or something to get this a little bit firmer, but I think that we'll probably be able to do just fine by hand here. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this guy. We're going to go ahead and put it on here. Let's see if we can get it to sit on here without any leaks. Okay, cool. This is now reporting back that we have Oh, about 40, what is that, 42? 43, 43 on the dot. 43 on the dot. So we got about 43 PSI. Now, if you guys want to in the comments, just for fun, uh, you want to take any guesses on how many PSI we're going to lose when we pull out this tool, okay? Uh, we're about to pull it out, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this upside down. Uh, so this is going to simulate a real world puncture where you would have that stuck in it at the bottom of the tire. And we're going to go ahead and just pull it right out and see how much sealant it is we lose. Um, and again, we're going to do this <coughs> up here on top of this table. Uh, so you can kind of see we would go down to the floor, but 
I think up here. Uh, am I in the splash zone? <laughs> you might be. Yeah, this is uh, definitely dangerous. But so anyways, guys, here we go. Y'all ready? One, two, three. And it's still sealed. All right. That did not seal. Well, that may be the X. Maybe the limit, guys. We're not going to give up that easy, though. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to let it leak down. And sometimes we've found that whenever you have these really big ones that blow out like that, here's what we're going to do. We're going to wipe up the mess. We're going to put it in another bottle of Dillo. And where you bring up the pressure slowly, sometimes those fibers can form a little bit more effectively. Now, one of the other problems we had here. So we're rated four half inch at pure Dillo. This is not pure Dillo. This was Dillo mixed with slime. So this may just actually continue to fail for a little while because of the fact that this is a mixture of 50-50 slime and Dillo. So if this does fail, we'll come back and do another live stream for you guys where we do a pure Dillo uh, just without the slime in the tire. However, it's my guess. God, that was a mess. My guess is that we've actually just blown out all the slime. So we'll be able to get pure Dillo in here now and let's try that out. So, real quickly, what a bloody mess. By the way, you guys talk about cleanup, uh, check it out. What a cleanup, right? So, doesn't make any real mess, uh, it just wipes right up. Those were dry rags, not wet. Now, let's see if we can get this guy to seal. I'm going to laugh if this thing actually fails because it had slime in it and we can't get it to roll. Whatever. This gives us an excuse to do a new one with pure Dillo. All right, guys, ready? So. I'm actually kind of surprised that failed. But it may be the tool as well. So, untested tools, untested mixture. We shall see. All right, now we got some more dillos back in the tire. We're not going to waste a lot of time with this. Let's go ahead and just pressure it right on up. Get that valve core back in there. And let's see if we can get this to seal with a little bit less pressure behind it. Obviously, this is a pretty extreme puncture, so. And let's go. Y'all ready? Where is that puncture at? Right there. There. Giant hole puncture. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to take, we're going to set this guy to, we're going to set it to 30 PSI. All right. You know what would be disappointed if we don't need that three quarter inch tool to kill this tire? Do you want to spin it a little bit first? Or? No need. We're just going to start pressuring it up. And we're going to put this to the bottom. Now, there we go. We're at 4.5 PSI, 10 PSI. By the way, guys, this isn't leaking. Just so you can see here. We're now at 12.5, 13. So again, one of the big problems we had there was that this was mixed with slime. Uh, when you mix this stuff with slime, it seriously degrades the ability for it to seal. Still not leaking. So pure Dellos, guys, this is one of the big keys. Pure Dellos, man, mix this stuff with anything and it's not gonna work as well. Don't mix it with stands. Don't mix it with slime. Don't mix it with water. Don't mix it with antifreeze. Don't mix it with nothing. Use pure Dellos. Now. PSI. 24 PSI. 24 PSI. Still haven't even gotten a drop out of it yet. Well, I'm getting bored here. I'm going to move this up a little bit. I'm going to put this in my riding pressure of about 37 PSI. 37. Still going. We're going to get to use that three-quarter inch tool today, guys. 
I'm telling you, I'm going to murder this Vega, but it's going to take a three quarter inch tool to do it. We're at 36.5, and there's 37. So we're going to go ahead and take this guy off real quick. Now, real quickly here, look at that. That's all we lost. Woo, okay. Now, let's go again. I bet you guys just thought that we lost the game, huh? All right. Y'all got to believe in Dillos. You know I do. So, that's all we lost right there. Now, notice the difference in color. Red versus a mix. So, you can tell by that purple color, we had a lot of slime in there. Unfortunately, guys, uh, there's a reason that this stuff costs so much. And, uh, frankly, any adulteration whatsoever, I know a lot of people out there are like, Hey, I can mix it 50-50 with slime and it'll work. <laughs> it will. Uh, in fact, as you saw here, it'll puncture, or rather it'll plug quite a puncture, even if you're mixed up. But, if you want that extreme performance, if you want to go to the limit, you're going to need pure Dillo. Uh, so, real quickly, now that we've made a mess of these guys, toss those down there. Look at that. Still not leaking, but what we're going to do, do a little pressure down test here. What is that at now? At 35 PSI, give or take, a little bit lower than 35. Assuming this gauge doesn't leak, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and, well, let's just make sure we don't have any, we actually do have a little bit of a leak coming out. Check that out. So, again, guys, this is one of those things, it may take some time to seal, especially with this large of a puncture. So, we're going to go ahead and point it downward here. Let it have a little bit of time to kind of work some fibers in. And one of the ways that this works, so this is one of the things you have to understand, is that these fibers, they actually, look at that, see, now we're, now there's no leak, okay? So these fibers, they actually have to plug, pack themselves in there. Uh, so the way that that works is, as you lose sealant, it carries the fibers over to the hole, and it actually will plug it up with those fibers. So, all right, so we've had a little drama. We've seen a failure. Of course, the failure didn't seem to be a permanent failure. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch this thing leak down. Uh, we're going to give it another 10 minutes. I'm bringing out the timer here. So we got the timer here. And we're going to start this timer right now, so everybody can watch. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a bottle of armadillos that we've emptied out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get a pretty bottle of armadillos. Making kind of a mess over here with all of our tools and stuff. But you got it leaking a little, little? bit. So. Doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. So these types of things, again, it takes a little bit of time for them to really seal up. That's definitely leaking a little. Let's go ahead and we'll just put this timer there. Let's see, only get to it a little bit more. And guys, so another thing, this really will, occasionally, even as you're riding, a hole of this size will blow out. Um, we are at the absolute limit, okay? So please don't think that, uh, you know, this is something you should go do on your own tire. Uh, you most certainly should not. Uh, it's absolutely a terrible idea. See, we've stopped leaking there again. So as this thing will basically sit here, what we're going to see is every time it leaks, every time some of those fibers come out of it, uh, they pack more into it. So again this is one of those types that it may take you know sometimes up to a week uh to see them stop seeping and well i say a week a smaller hole will take sometimes up to a week to stop seeping and leaking and that sort of thing this frankly this is a dead tire already uh there is no way that you're going to continue riding a tire that has a half inch hole in it and expect it to be perfectly reliable i don't expect this to be perfectly reliable uh, in fact even though we've got pure dillo in here today when me and jamie take this board for a ride I'm going to go ahead and take a pump with it uh, because I think it's really probable I'm going to have a blowout. I think it's really probable that I'm going to have to do some work to get this tire back home. Just the reality of it. Uh, we've pushed this tire well beyond anything you could reasonably expect a sealant to deal with. So, uh, you know, again, I just want to make it really clear uh, that while we do say we can seal a half inch hole, this is not recommended. Um, this is well beyond the capabilities that this stuff should be able to do. And frankly, we're pretty proud that it'll seal it at all. So it's holding the holder. So guys, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put the camera on this. We're going to let it just sit here. It may leak down. It may seep down a little bit. We'll see, but it's certainly it's, you know, I think it should be pretty clear. This is working well. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to sit down with Jamie. We're going to relax, cool off for a minute. And when we come back, uh, I'm going to lose this apron and we're going to go out for a little ride. Uh, we're going to take you guys through uh, the streets of Miami with us. And uh, we're gonna, you know, go for a cruise, see how this thing performs. Now, this live stream will continue. We're not gonna end this live stream, okay? So we're just gonna put a little armadillo's card here and we're gonna, you know, say be right back. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ride down to Wynwood. 
uh, take about a 15, 20 minute cruise, uh, come back, and then we'll, well, we'll go for broke. I, I did promise you guys a dead tire today, so uh, let's see if we can make good on that promise. Anyway, let's, uh, still not leaking by the way. It is absolutely not seeping, it is not leaking. It's pretty darn good for a half inch, huh guys? All right. Yeah, the PSI oh. is holding. PSI is holding. The timer is not, PSI is. Uh, let's relax for a minute, Jamie. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and take off my uh, apron here because outside of the craziness, oops, put this guy right back where it goes. Hopefully I didn't somehow mess that up. Oh, whatever, that'll do. Jamie, you wanna come re-mic me up? I've yeah. somehow managed to rip your microphone off because uh -huh. I'm a loser like that. All good. Okay, everybody. Let me back up a little bit. So, as you hold can on, see, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, there, excited boy. All right. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Cool. All right, guys. So we're at uh, 17 minutes now. Um, I'm going to start disconnecting this. Here's what we're going to do. Um, real quickly, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go live on my phone. So if this kills the stream, I'm sorry. I'm hoping it won't, but I'm about to go live on the Armadillo's page. Um, so if you guys can join us, uh, I'm going to carry my phone with us. And as you can see, we're still at you know no pressure lost over a couple of minutes. Um, just one minute here. I'm going to be right back. I suppose uh, take a quick break I'm gonna put before a, we a actually go. On the live stream so people know. So he's he's. Been Obligated to ride around on a uh, Vega for a month, so um, <laughs> we're gonna kill this tire today. But uh, well, maybe we will. I mean, maybe it won't. I'd be shocked if it doesn't. But let's find out. Anyway, uh, let's ride. Jamie, you ready to ride? Let's do it. All right. So I'm gonna go back to this. Jamie, can you hold that for just one second, yeah. just like that pointed at me? I'm gonna put on some wrist protection here. Hope I don't need it, but I like the skin where it is on my hands. All right, now I'm going to pop out here and I'm going to lock up the office. This is unbelievable. Listen to this. That's not the puncture. That's just this tire grabbing everything on the street. I'm going to back up just a second. Jamie, hold on. I'm just going to back up a little bit so we get some of those rocks out of there. There we go. Now we're going again. Okay, we're going to cut across here in a second. Not yet, because i got Jamie following me. Uh, we're going to go up to the light, maybe even and do this like a proper gentleman. We'll see. Uh, and again, just for those of you who are just catching up, this tire uh, that I'm riding on here is a brand new Vega that we've actually just put a bunch of holes in, including up to a half inch hole on the live stream. Um, and so, if there's any question whether this works, uh, I think this should put that pretty much to rest. So, all right, got a break in traffic coming up here in a second, I think. So about this next road, we're gonna go across the road. Uh, okay, uh, kind of got a break in traffic. We're just gonna go ahead and pause here and wait for this to clear up. Again, this is something you're going to see this stuff do sometimes. It blew out. It blew slime on me. We have no... <laughs> I mean, it got me good. With that being said, uh, that's to be expected. And this is why we run a tire uh, with a fender on it when we're going to do the stupid. So, again, uh, as you saw, we went over a mile without it having any sort of a blowout. But it did. And, oh, God, that stuff is just funny. 
Jimmy's over here. He's like, oh, look at all that mess. So this is why you want to go ahead and put a fender on if you're going to do stupid. Obviously, I pulled it new out of the box and didn't have a fender handy. So I, um, I took a bath. Oh, look at that, a bath. And it may actually fail here. We're going to see. This may actually fail out. We're going to put that right down at the bottom here. We're going to see if we can get it to seal up. Boy, that's a mess. I'll tell you what. Yeah, you don't want to do this. We got a police officer over here. is going to go ahead and pop over it so plenty of crap here and that sound is not the dealo failing that sound is just crap stuck in this tire because vega so I promised you some tire carnage. Let's, uh, I think we've had enough success for the day. Um, let's do something stupid. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna give Jamie this as well so he can hold this with you guys. And he's now, he's I'm not now, doing enough, I only have like five cameras going. Jamie needs something to do, he gets bored very easily. So Jamie, can yeah. you come in real quickly and just everybody see this. This is the puncture tool we used. Uh, this is a half inch puncture tool. Again, we punctured it with this tool uh, we tested it, we rode it, we beat on it. It's fine. Um, granted, it's, uh, you know, it's on its last legs, really. Uh, this is the sort of thing that once you've done a puncture like this in a tire, you really should replace it. Um, there's no world in which, you know, this is really okay. With that being said, it still seems to be working. We rode down to the protest, we got all this done. Um, so, not as bad as it could be. Let me kill this thing. All right. <clears throat> so pull this gauge off of here and I think we're gonna do one last thing here which is again this was cool this was fun but oh, oh. <laughs> yep more power guys um, so we're gonna go from a half inch to a three quarters inch now I again I fully expect this isn't gonna work let's try it more product in there or go with whatever's left it's gonna go with whatever's left Right. Uh, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we've lost a lot of sealant. We've probably blown out. Uh, I think you're worth <clears> half. You know, I, I'm guessing we've blown out half. Um, again, this is this is truly intended to fail, guys. Uh, this is not supposed to be a success. If this is a success, something's wrong in the world. Um, maybe you know, glitch in the matrix, whatever. But let's find out. So let's roll this guy forward. Where is our giant hole? Right there, she is. So it's pretty remarkable when we actually look at this. If you'll come over here and look at this, Jamie, this is the giant, giant hole. That's a half inch puncture after riding around and letting it seal. This is the, uh, funny enough, that's the slightly smaller puncture. So, you know, we're gonna leave that giant hole over there and we're gonna come over here. And 
By the way, guys, look at the size of this thing in there. Just trying to even get this in. I don't, I don't know how I'm even going to get this in there. This is pretty ridiculous and ludicrous, but we're going to just do what we can here. And I'm going to just rip and tear and push. Yeah, I don't even know if we can get this thing in there. So we're going to come down here. I'm going to set this down here at the bottom. And you can hear it ripping. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, Do you almost need it to be at a higher PSI to start? I don't know if you guys see how red I'm turning here. We may need it to be at a higher PSI to start. Um, Jamie, you want to, uh, actually, you know what, guys, here, you know what, I'm just gonna, uh, we're working it in there, we're working it in there. <laughs> Holy cow. Let me get to where I can actually see this is, this is incredible, guys. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. That was a lot of work. That was an awful lot of work. Um, Y'all want a cardiovascular, cardiovascular workout? Come give this a shot. Definitely got me breathing. Well, so, um, you know, I think it's pretty much indisputable that uh, this is ridiculous. And, uh, I'm gonna wipe this off here. Now, I'm actually just gonna pull this out straight. Oh, <clears throat> All right, guys. So, we're gonna take, we're gonna do this a little bit of a cheater way. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab just one second. I'm gonna grab a bear pump, because I know I'm gonna need it. Thing's already basically deflated. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and pull that out. We're gonna let it deflate because I know we're losing all the air out of this tire right now for sure. So, you guys ready for this? Three quarters of an inch puncture. And I just want you to come look at this hole in this tire. Okay? I mean, that's, it's massive, guys. I mean, we just stuffed this thing into this tire. It doesn't get any worse. That's as bad as it gets. I mean, that is just truly it's excessively bad, right? So we've got, literally, I think you can actually, <laughs> you can see where I chewed rubber out, just, you know, grinding it in there. Now, one of the things is the way I'm doing this, I'm actually removing rubber by grinding it. Chances are that's not gonna happen in a regular puncture. So this is making our life even harder because I'm actually removing material. Makes it more likely this is gonna fail. Now, again, just prep everybody up. I expect this to fail, but we're gonna push it to the limit and see if, well, See if maybe something just really stupid like three quarter inch can be done. So, what we're gonna do here, this puncture right here again, we're gonna spin it to where it's at the bottom. Grab this pump. And we're gonna place this on there. Now, we're gonna set this guy to, all right, it is currently calibrated to zero. Let's see if it'll hold any air at all. Oh, I hear it making noise. 10 PSI, 11, holding 11 PSI so far, guys. Now we're not here yet, we're not done, okay? But that's 13. We're gonna take it up to 20, I'm gonna stop it, okay? Because 20 is, well, that's ludicrous already, so. We got there, 16, uh oh. 16.5. I think we're done. Sounds like we might be out of Dillo. Oh, yeah. It's just draining out right there. Yeah. So, guys, no three quarter inch holes. 
I think this pretty much conclusively proves it. Three quarter inch hole will not seal with Dello. Half inch? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. So again, not magic. This is science, guys. Um, you know, there are limits to what we do, but the limits are extreme, truly extreme. Uh, that held <laughs> three quarter inch hole, held to 11 PSI. Uh, this tire is, you know, done. We can just see it is completely, totally done. Uh, but we actually were holding up to 11 PSI, even with this relatively, you know, crazy puncture. Um, half inch, well, we wouldn't have just gotten us home. Frankly, we probably could have rode this tire for the next month with that half inch puncture in it. So if you guys ever have any questions uh, about how much we test our products, how much we care about our products, how much we care about you as the customer, um, these are the kind of tests that we have done repeatedly. Uh, that's why I know exactly where these things will fail. That's exactly, you know, I, I know my product. And you can bet that when we make you a promise, we'll keep it. Um, if you guys ever have any problems, call me. Uh, as you see, we can reliably get a half inch hole sealed. I'm sure whatever you run over won't be a problem at all. Guys, thank you for your time today on the live stream. I hope everybody had fun. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed the mess. And, uh, well, bye. Kill it all. Uh. <laughs> you know, do it. So gross. Here, well, let's, let's actually clear that out real quick. Go ahead and disengage your pump. Yeah, go ahead and disengage it. But what we're going to do is we're going to clear that out and we're going to just show how ludicrously large of a hole we have here. I mean, it's just, guys, this is, you know, huge, huge, huge hole. Um, we can take something like this and it'll just literally slip in. You know, I mean, we've just got missing material there. There's tons. So, you know, um, again, guys, if you want the best entire sealant, if you want something that's been tested, proven, tested again, refined continuously, Armadillo's is a product for you.